couple little drops in each container, okay? okay. Nikki Chaves says the internet is full of great projects for her three-year-old Lofton. We can find a lot of good ideas. They don't always turn out like the pictures, but we at least try. If her art project doesn't go exactly to plan, Lofton doesn't mind. I think our red turned into brown. But there are countless online DIY projects that not only fall short of the hype, but can actually pose a danger. Homemade versions of safety-related products, everything from ointments to furniture, get shared across the internet thousands of times. They probably don't meet the safety criteria that are, or the standards for those product types. A popular example, homemade sunscreen. The way the photographs are taken, the way the information is portrayed, it looks good. But be careful. Researchers at the Center for Injury Research and Policy at Nationwide Children's Hospital studied do-it-yourself sunscreen recipes posted on Pinterest. The study found nearly all the pins claimed some level of sun protection, many including specific SPF levels up to 50. Some of the claims would um, offer recipes with ingredients that we know are not scientifically effective in offering that kind of broad spectrum coverage. Commercially available sunscreens are closely regulated by the FDA. They're required to list all ingredients and have a proven level of both UVA and UVB protection. That's not the case for these DIY versions. When we don't know the effectiveness of homemade sunscreen recipes that have been shown online, um, we're taking a risk with our children, with ourselves. Um, and that risk is a really bad sunburn or skin cancer in the future. I think parents get tripped up on the words all natural or homemade and they automatically think, well, it's homemade, it's got to be the best product, but that's not always the case. Which is why it's best to stick to regulated products when it comes to your child's health or safety. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Barb Consiglio reporting.